All right, y'all, Tuesday night, August the 8th, we are rocking. Carolina against Jacksonville State with an asterisk because, of course, JSU is not in this game. So, who's the next best available? Coastal Carolina. I thought Coastal guys fit really well because, let me remind you, Jacksonville State is a team that was FCS a season ago and is now transitioning to FBS. So, when you factor that in, we needed to go with an appropriate talent level, a talent match, if you will, and I feel like Coastal is that team. So, we're going to ride with Coastal Carolina. They're going to sub in for Jacksonville State, but we still should get, I think, the result that we're all expecting. Either way, going to be a fun one. Appreciate you all tuning in. I see John Edward, Brian Mobley, Austin Gregory. Austin says, what happened to Florida Atlantic? Coastal's decent. Well, Austin, believe it or not, that's not the case on the game. Florida Atlantic's like a 75 on the game, right? And also, DGD makes a really good point, and I didn't even realize this when I picked this. Think about it. It's Gamecocks on Gamecocks in South Carolina, Jacksonville State. What is a Chanticleer? It's still technically kind of a Gamecock. So we kind of have the same matchup here. We still kind of have the same matchup. Brian Mobley, the Gamecock 22, John Edward, Brendan. What's going on? So, I've already picked out the uniform guys. I see some of you talking about script helmets. Brian, I'm not a fan of the script helmets at all. I promised my guy, p Doc that we would rock these helmets that he wants us to rock. So, we're going to do it. Black helmets, garnet jerseys, white helmets pants. Black, garnet, white. We're going to see how this looks. We're going to see how this looks. All right, so we're going to rock with it. Black, garnet, white. I say we go white cleats could be fire. White cleats, white gloves. What do y'all think? Let's see. We'll go black gloves. I think black, maybe, maybe black shoes too. At least those. Uh, we'll go with the white black. All right, cool. So we're going to rock with that uni combo. Again, I promised my guy P-Doc we would. Uh, we have not gotten to those yet. Black, garnet, white is what we're going to roll with. So looking to keep the momentum. Huge win last night. Huge win last night over Texas A&M. Rocking the run and shoot. Let's see. Coastals, unis. How about some white, white teal for Coastal? Okay. Let's see if they've got a different helmet. Let's just play around with it a little bit. They got a USA helmet. They've got the teal helmet. Okay. We'll go teal, white, teal for Coastal. Why not, right? Okay. So we've got our unis ready. We're doing this for my guy, p Dog. by the way. Those are not my favorite uniforms. Again, Austin... Coastal is not good on this game. You literally can't be worse than a 65 overall. It's not possible. Florida Atlantic was better than Coastal Carolina. So you can't be worse than a 65. Coastal's not good on the game for whatever reason. And I don't know if like, here's the thing, Austin. I don't know that Coastal's, that Coastal's uh, rosters have been updated. So like, I, I don't know if it's their team this year. I have no idea. To be honest with you, I have no clue. So I don't think Coastal's all that great. Either way, we're going to rock with this. I'm going to make this a night game. I, I think this has the opportunity to be like that, that 7 o'clock, 7.30, that 7.30 SEC Network game. And it's beginning November, so it's starting to get a little cold. Let's, let's go cold. We'll go. Y'all want to play a rain game? Should we go rain? Light rain? Yeah, the, the puppy is ready to go. Yeah. Nah, we're going to go just clear. It, it's fine. We're going to go clear. I, I, you, you start bringing rain involved. That's, you know, you, you get some weird, 
You get some weird results. You know what I mean? You get some very weird results. I'm not doing heavy snow. It's not going to snow in South Carolina. It's not, it is most definitely not going to snow in South Carolina at that time. Hey, look, it's Brendan and Dalton's favorite player. Again, guys, appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. Really excited for the game tonight, of course. We got the big dub last night over... Yeah, I don't even think their roster's updated. Big dub last night for a and I mean, who who is quarterback number eight? I have no... That's not Grayson McCall, right? So I, I think this is a good comp for Jacksonville State. I really do. I think this is a really, really good comp. As you see, the puppy is just going crazy right now. All right. Let's go ahead and rock. Let's go ahead and rock. We got P-Dogs, Uni Combo, Black, Garnet, White. What do you all think about Black, Garnet, White? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's better than Garnet, Garnet, White. I take it that. It's way better than Garnet, Garnet, White. Way better than Garnet, Garnet, White. Here we go, folks. Here we go. 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 Taken at the five. Let's have a fun game, huh? Let's have a fun game, blowout type of game. Why not? Let's do it. South Carolina's coaches admitted to us that they game plan around this guy. It's kind of different for a wide receiver. He's usually a running back or a quarterback, but he's paid off for so far. He really has. And I, I found it very refreshing as we travel around the country and visit with so many of these players. Come on, oh, pick up where you left off. Wide receiver. There you go. Nice. Guy. Nice. Pick up where you left us. off, man. Pick up where you left sure off. The they remember November, the Austin. Kind of they remember the November, folks. Football, We're playing our best ball into the season. I'm speaking it into existence. We got it started the right way against A&M. Going to keep that momentum going. Yep, yep, yep. Rattler about to turn it on in the season. That is a great example of the quarterback. Rattler is about to turn it on in the season. This is a heck of a uniform matchup, though. You got the the teal and white of Coastal, and then the black and garnet white combo of Carolina. Second and inches, and you get sacked. Unreal. That's what happened there. Unreal. Go down field. Go down field. Get up field. Go for this. Go for this, man. Yeah, Nick Harbour's turning into our like top weapon, basically. Really fake this, dude. Wow. Booming kick. Can't believe we booted that. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Pick! Let's go! Take it back. Take it back! Let's go! Let's go! What a way to start! <laughs> Go! What a way to start, man. Lo Marcellus dial with the pick six. 
Let's go. What a start. What a start of the game. What a start of the game. We'll take it. We'll take that. We'll take that for sure. Let's go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Hmm. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Gamecocks really took care of business on defense that first Let's have ourselves a freaking night, folks. Let's just let's let's run them out the stadium. The way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. Let's run them out the stadium, man. Let's see how the defense responds now coming off that big play just a moment ago. You know, you wonder about the mindset, the psyche of this football team after the turnover. Yeah, dude, almost another one. Spider-Man, if the season went just like the sim to this point, would you be happy? I, Spider-Man, would not be happy with Spencer Rattler, no. I, I would not. Which is weird, though, because we could still hit the the seven-win mark that I predicted. But as we've talked before, right, like how you win and lose matters. And so, no, with the way that it's happened, no. Nah, I mean, Win-loss? I I wouldn't be thrilled by any means. Um, I'd be okay with it. Deep pass. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Almost had it. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. Yeah, getting shut out against UNC. But losing to UNC? I mean, it's, it's possible. I mean, it's very possible. I look more so, guys, I look more so at, like, the final results of the Sims versus – like what the scores are because we know the scores I mean we know the scores are a bogus right like they're crazy they're all, they're all over the place at times just kind of feeling their way right now allowing both these defenses just to dominate the game and here we go with the offense ready to get things going again South Carolina is up a score all data throw just Had all day to throw and couldn't in find anybody. The pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Screen. Get up field. Get up field. They'll bring him down around the four yard line. Let's be aggressive. Let's be aggressive. From their own 40 yard line. Third down. Let's be aggressive here. Tosses left. Intercepted. And he's taken wow. down right around the 46 yard line. Well, he, he was aggressive. Hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on wow. the Wow. I mean he threw he, he threw that with confidence. Spencer Rattler threw that with confidence. Wow. From their own mm, 46 mm, mm. yard line. All right. It's first down. All right. All right. He's got an opening. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Wow. Touchdown. Big play. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. That is not ideal. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. <sighs> and he hits the PAT. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. They line up to kick this one away. <laughs> The fire C Philly chance already coming out. We're early in the ball game. Early, early, early. Mm. All right, here we go. Dude, we need Rattler get it going, man. 
Find juice wells, man. Find juice wells. Or just take off and run. All right, that's positive play. Positive play there. Yeah, I'll have to go back and count the interceptions, but he's got a ton. Literally, the, the Mizzou game was the reverse Tennessee game from last year. Truly. The quarterback draw. Dude, what are we doing right now with the play calling? What are we doing with the play calling, man? Anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Oh my gosh, we have gotten back to conservative, conservative, conservative. We are being so conservative, dude. So conservative. <laughs> He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He fields a punt at the 20. This is, this is, this feels like early on. It's, listen, we're going to be fine, Austin. This is your typical, we just want a big game hangover. That, that, that's what this is. That's what this is. Because again, they put so much time. Oh my gosh. And to be able to see that actually. I thought I thought he got him for a loss. Makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Got him for a loss. I thought he got him for a loss. Let's him run right past. And he's tackled at about the 47 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Running that hurry up offense. Get there. Here's the give. Dude, what? He's taken down at the 45 yard line. Picked out. He's got it with room to run. Wow. I mean, wow. Where is our defense right now? More and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Get there. Atta boy. Four! Pick it up! Go! Go, Stone! Go! Don't let him catch you! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! That's a fumble. Yep, that was out. That ball was out. That a baby. Let's go. Love to see it. Love to see it, folks. All right, there's the spark we needed. There's the spark. Go, Dak. Go, Dak. Look at Dak Joyner. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Uh, Steven is still a starting linebacker. I think he's in the rotation. I think he's behind Mo Caba to start the year, but I think he's going to play a ton. What? It worked, but what is up with the quarterback draw? I I'd rather you run it with the Cabrion Joyner. That doesn't make a bit of sense. Hit him. Get in. Get in. Let's go. Let's go. Juice. Finally, Juice. Finally, you find Juice Wells. Good things happen when you throw the football to Juice Wells. Good things happen when you throw it to Juice Wells, man. Good things happen. That a boy. Situation. Got routed. Just got straight up routed. Atta boy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice drive. Way to capitalize after the fumble recovery. Bro, Coastal was about to take the lead, dude. Coastal was straight up about to take the lead right there. <laughs> they were about to take the lead. into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. On play what? action. Where is the pat? Pick! Go, take it back! Defense having a field day. Debo Williams with the pick. Defense having a field day. Let's go, baby. Big time. Let's go. First down. South Carolina is up seven. Under pressure. God, I thought Rattler was about to get lit up, dude. Down the 17 -yard line. I thought Rattler was about to get lit up. What was that? Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Big third. Let's convert. Come on. Find a guy. Oh. Bro, how do you complete the pass for minus one yard when you needed three yards? What? Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. 69 total yards. Nice. Nice. South Carolina can make hey, it still could be a 17 to what, 14 game is what Austin said at half. That boy Mitch. That boy Mitch. Well, we've been gifted 10 points off the turnovers, but we'll take it. We'll take it. I mean, 17 points in the first quarter. Not bad. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Bro, 21 is a hoss, dude. It's a unit. Straight up unit. they do something here, might turn into one. Get there. Yep. Oh, no. Dude. What was that? Yep. Nice. I wish he would have pitched that. I wish he would have pitched that. Would have loved for him to pitch that. Screen. Receivers got it on the screen. He's tackled at about the 40. Spider-Man says Nick Carver towers over his corner. If Steve Philly had any football IQ, he'd call a fade at the corner of the end zone. Well, Spider-Man, that's why I've taken over. I'm going to take over play calling duties and fire Dowell Loggins. No football IQ, like you said. The receiver, and they make the stop at the 49. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know why we don't call that fade in Nick Harbor, man. I don't know what, what, what the deal is there. Come on, D. Come on, D. Let's go. Let's go. Tighten up, defense. Need to tighten up. I tell you what, they're moving the ball. They are moving the ball, man. This hurry up offense. They are moving the football. If they just, if they just didn't turn the ball over, they'd be right in the game. 
I mean, they still are, but they'd probably be leading if they didn't turn the football over. Like, where is the coverage? So they pick up quite a few yards on Where is the coverage? <laughs> you know what they used to call that under Lou Holtz? The donut defense. There's always a hole in the middle of it. There you go. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. No. Pick! Let's go! Take a knee. Let's go with it in the quarter, man. What a quarter for the defense. What a quarter for the defense. Wow. Bro, defense came to play. Ready for more football wow, here, big two. time. John Edward, why not kick the field goal? It was second and goal. Nice, nice. Bro, fine juice. They cannot cover him. He's already got four catches. They can't cover him. They literally cannot cover him. Atta boy, look at that run by the carry on joiner, man. Just carrying dudes. Hmm. Grayson McCall is trying to out rattle the relic. Again, I don't know that that's actually Grayson McCall, Spider Man, on this roster. I don't think Coastal's roster is updated, so. That's why it's a perfect fit to sub for Jacksonville State because I don't think coastal the coastal we know of. I don't think they're that coastal in this game. I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Get up here. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. No gain on the play. Third down. Nice, nice, nice third down conversion. Very, dude, just find juice. They can't cover him. They cannot cover him. Rattler's efficient. We just haven't really taken any shots downfield, which is stunning. I mean, it's like, what is that? What was that? That'll be a two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That is screen pass sat at its finest. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll drop him for a loss. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. This play, it, it, like the, 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 the contrast the field, in the play calling between the A&M game and this game is just nuts, honestly. It's, it's just nuts. It's just nuts, man. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to throw it into coverage and throw a pick, why not at least throw it deep, you know? They're down by a couple scores. But why, why not at least throw it deep? And you're not feeling good about yourself, and your defense comes up with an interception like that. Boy, oh boy, you're I mean, you know what? You know why I love these Sims, though? There is no greater representation of the madness that is Gamecock football. There's no greater representation of that than these Sims. Because this is how it feels watching counter football. It makes literally no sense at all. It's impossible to understand, truly. This is how it feels. It makes no sense. 
absolutely crazy. Screen. Get there. Let's go. Nice. Nice. Dude, defense is bailing us out. Bro, defense is winning this game right now. Six yard line. Oh, can we please go down the field, bro? Can we you think about please the challenge go down these the field? Are facing. On one side, Take some deep shots. Find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way Take to get back in. Take some deep shots here. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gaining four yards. That'll make it second and seven. See, Philly's buyout is twenty bucks. A pack of sunflower seeds, Rowdy Rooster. That's my buyout. Pack a pack of barbecue sunflower seeds, and you got me out of here. I'll hit the road. There you go, nice. He's taken down. Oh, I was about, to, dude. I was about to say they don't give him four progress there. down 10 to go ball on the 48 yeah like I don't understand why we're not passing the ball deep why, why are we not stretching the field again he'll get the call like it's crazy we were we were we were super aggressive against Texas A&M and then against Coastal aka Jacksonville State we are being ultra conservative Nice, very nice. Juice. That a boy, Juice. Seven catches already in the half, dude. Seven catches in the half. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the thirty-seven. We need six here, man. We need to find a way to get six. Go down field. That's all right. And it's caught, and he's brought down Omega field. Blake. Rattler's got four incompletions. Two of them were interceptions. They're just wild. All right, that'll work. That'll work. Another catch for Juice. Eight catches. First and ten, ball on the 26-yard line. Get up, field. And he's level at the 17-yard line. Nick Harbor again. We're just kind of nickel and diming down the field. Here's I don't know. We're just the series. just nickel and dime, nickel and dime. Go, go, Joiner, go. That a boy, nice, nice, very nice run. It's a nice drive right here. It's a very nice drive. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six. This is a very solid drive right here. They come out on an empty backfield. He's in. Heck of a drive. Heck of a drive. Fantastic drive. Eddie Lewis. On the touchdown catch. That was a heck of a drive, dude. Nine plays. Burn some clock as well. And he hits the PAT. That was a great drive. Needed it. Needed it to get the offense going a little bit. <laughs> and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. 
He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Come on, D. They hand it Somebody off. get outside. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 45. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Get there, D. Get there, D. Bro, how is Coastal gashing us right now? How is Coastal gashing us? Give to the tailback. Good outside run there. That makes it second and six. Nice. And they'll get him in the backfield. Anytime a running back gets one on one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and get up field for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. Let's go, D. Turnover right here. Let's get a turnover. Let's get another turnover. He's hit and taken down. I bet you to go for it. Why not? You're down 17. Yep. Yep. You're down 17. You wanna make them pay for it? Let's go. Make them pay for it right here, dude. No way he's able to complete that pitch right there. No way he gets that pitch off to his man right there. Golly, what a pitch! Nope. Nice throw, Schmatt, Nick. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows <laughs> he'll get it next time. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. Slings it. And he is drilled at the 30-yard line. Number three makes the second down. Nice. I'm sure they go for this too, right? They're going to kick the three. Nope, there they go. Can we get a stop? Here we go. Can we get a stop? Can we get a stop? Get there. Get there. Yeah. <laughs> O'Donnell fortune, bro. Come on, man. Defense has had two stops already down here. Nice run to the left there. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. This is the 12th play of this drive. Bro, Coastal's the moving. The They've been moving all game, honestly. I think we're probably getting out gained at this point. I would not be surprised. Wow, I thought, oh, did he drop it? Wow, I thought it was a touchdown. I thought that was a touchdown. It's third down. Get there. Atta boy. They gotta they gotta kick this. Fourth fourth and thirteen, bro. They gotta kick that. They've gotta kick that. Whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit. Yeah, they've got to keep it. Left footed kicker. How about that? Letting that clock run down. Just letting that clock run down. Hey, I'll take 24 to 10 at the half, and we still have the ball. We still had the ball with three timeouts, so anything can happen. It's up, and they tack on three points. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. They line up 
to kick this one away. Take it. Take it. And he's taken oh, down at the 25. Man. South Carolina's coaching staff this week, when we were at practice, Kirk, you could just see they were aiming wow. for this guy. Look at Juice Well. Star of the game. And it's nice when you prep that way. And we have 174 yeah, yards of offense. You know, but we've just, we've capitalized on so many turnovers. Please stretch the field here. Please. And even the, the head coach, they were confident in what they'd be able to do against this defense. Okay, all right. It's a good start. Bro, and you have three timeouts, you have plenty of time to at minimum get in field goal range. At minimum. Go down field. Here we go. Let's go! Take off! He's not catching him. He's not catching him! Let's go! Juice! Let's go, baby! Seven plus three equals Tutty! Let's go, Juice! Have a night, Juice Wells. Have a freaking night. That's what I'm talking about, man. Go deep. Stretch the field. How about a 31 to 10 spot? The Fire Sea Philly chants have silenced. The Fire Sea Philly chants have silenced. Where are you? This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We got a lot of football left, but I got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Look at this. Coastal's like, nah, we ain't going to turn this ball over. But they're still hurrying up. Nope. 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 They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Give C. Philly a blank check, he says. Love it. Absolutely love that. Taken down at the 36-yard line. Line line. Let's see, do they, do they hit the Hail Mary here? Nope. Get to that quickly. Nice. Great into the half. Zero yard reception. Hey, great half. I'll take a 21-point lead. I'll take I'll take a 31 spot at halftime. Let's go. Let's go. A first half filled with turnovers, and David, while the players ought to be concentrating on the second half for sure, I'm sure that somewhere in the back of their minds, they're thinking, oh no, film study's coming, coach is going to get that little laser pointer out, and he's going to say, circle you. Oh, is he going to hold on to it? Is he not? Is he tough? Is he not? Too many times the answer was no, ball wound up on the ground. Yeah, Reese, that, that's the worst part as a player is going back and watching the tape of how you messed up. So what do you do in the next half? You don't want to get too conservative. You don't want to say, I'm not going to make big plays because I'm going to make sure I don't turn it over and don't. You can't play scared. That can't come into your thought process. But you definitely have to go out there and put a priority in it because you've already been embarrassed once. You've already been embarrassed twice. It's going to happen again unless you do something about it. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second. All righty. He sends this one deep. Is that true, Spider-Man? Are we undefeated at home? Is that true? No way. I guess you're right. I guess we have not lost a home game. Because we're 4-4. Four and four. UNC, Mizzou, Georgia, and who else? Who's the other loss? 
So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah. There Tennessee. Was there on that yeah. Yeah, you're right. So we have not lost a home game yet. Wow. That's impressive. And the rest of our games from here on out are home games. They spread the field mm, in the that's, that's something. That is something. That is something. Pick that. God, where is the coverage? Where is the coverage? Sheesh. They come out in a five wide set. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Mmm, that ball was almost picked. Wow, he dropped it. Wow. Separate man from ball. Out of boy, Emma Worry. Out of boy, Nick. Take that. That's picked. Take it back. Oh, stay on your feet, baby. Let's go. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Tackle made at the 38, and that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. Nice, nice. At the 47. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Throws quick to the receiver. Oh, he dropped it. Dude, come on. The defense held their ground on that play. The come on, just man. Wasn't able to find any open receivers. Uh, it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring Did he pin him right there? Play. Where'd that ball go out? Kirk, I remember you had nights like this. The thing that's standing out to me right now, Brad, is this defense has been so consistent with their pass. I will say, I'm man, this is this is a game that if it isn't for our defense, defense, this game is uncomfortably close. This game is uncomfortably close. <laughs> Oh, this game's uncomfortably close, if not for the defense. Four picks for their quarterback, and he's trotting back out there. Unreal, dude. Unreal. Nope, nope, nope. Gang up. Gang tackling. Gang tackling. Second and 13. Ball on the 17 yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Here's an opening. Nice run there. Make a stop. They'll bring him down to the 32 yard line. Mm. Five wide. Oh. 
tackle at the 34-yard line. Oh my gosh, bro, that's got to be picked off. Hit you right in the hands. They'll line it up again. Hit you right in the hands. He's taken down at the 48 yard line. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. First down. Come on, D. The counter. Somebody. Where is the defense? And down he goes at the 43. <laughs> mm. I mean, dude, Coastal's controlled most of the game outside of them turning the football over. They they have controlled most of the game. They'll knock him down for a loss. Nope. Nope. That's fourth. That's fourth. They got to be going for this. They have to be going for this. Wow. Watch the fate. Watch the fate. Watch the fate. I'm stunned they didn't go for that, dude. Fourth and inches, and they're down 21. They didn't go for it. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful. Dude, this let's drive. let's score to a touchdown and get the two in had. there. On play action. Nice. Flyers Very nice. Receiver. This should be a Lenora Sellers game, honestly. This should be a game where we see Sellers. Should. From their own 32 yard line. First down. Go. Out a boy. Out a boy. Nice. Carry on, Joiner. Averaging seven yards a carry. Feed him. Feed him the football. It's first and ten. Ball on the forty-two. Hit him, hit him. No! God, he had him wide. He had two guys wide open. He had two guys wide open running downfield. Wow. Hmm. Quick throw out to the receiver. That a boy. He swells yet again. Juice Wells yet again, folks. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Makes it out to about the 40. That makes it second and two. Try that deep ball again. Second and two is the time to do it. Second and two is the time to do it. He's and up. there goes Rat. There you go. Got the first. Oh, boy, we'll take that. We'll take that. The Got the first. Line. We'll take that. Got the, got the pups in the stew. First and ten. Ball on the 33. Here we go. He'll get the call again. He fights forward to about the 33. And, and this play is number eight on the drive. You don't see me in your nightmare, son. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. <laughs> Makes the catch and look out. And he hits him hard at the 21. First and 10. Ball on the 21 yard line.
pitch the ball, rat. Let's go, babe. Pitch the football. Tenth play of the drive. Bro, please stretch the field. Please stretch the field here. He launches one for the end zone. Just can't connect. Just can't connect in the long ones. From the 24 Just cannot do one for down. seven on third down. That's tough. That is really tough. Throws complete. He's hammered. And we're right to kick. Mitch Jeter alert. Kicks Mitch up, Jeter alert. Oh boy. Right. South Carolina is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Gamecocks coaching staff's got to be elated over on the sideline about what they plan to do with this wide receiver and the plans coming to fruition. Absolutely, and they continue to be able to find ways to give him the football. That's the thing that's been probably most impressive, not just his ability, but how they've moved him around and got the football to him in different ways. It makes a big Adam Boyd, nice. Defense. And he just gets defense rid of crushing. it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Got a boy. There we go. There we go. There we go. Defense continuing to crush, man. Defense continuing to crush. No way. That's a duck. Oh, it should have been picked. That was a duck. I think that ball was tipped to the line. Pretty sure that ball was tipped to the line. Barely outgaining Coastal. I mean, barely. 40 yards worth. How about a big return? How about a big return? But they, they just run right into the teeth of the, the coverage team. They don't even try to go outside and make guys miss or, or anything. I don't even know what that was. I don't even know what that was. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 43. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Spider-Man, does Juice have a shot at the Blitnikov? It would take an incredible season, not just by him, but Spencer Rattler. You know, it's it's he is He's reliant on other pieces working for him to have that big season. I mean, he has the talent. He's one of the most talented receivers in college football, but is the offense going to put up that gaudy of numbers, a.k.a. is he going to put that gaudy of numbers up? I, I just – I don't know that you can say for certain. You know what I mean? So, Kevin Ray says, I appreciate you doing these live streams. My son and I have been enjoying watching him in some good father-son time. Kevin. I'm glad you guys are able to enjoy this. I appreciate it. I enjoy this as well, man. I'm glad y'all are doing the same. Very nice. Very nice. Carry on. Joyner's having a good game. I'd say keep feeding him. Averaging seven yards a touch, man. Yeah, Juice Wells would have to have, I mean, an incredible season, man, because, you know, there's going to be some receivers out there that put up some some big-time numbers. Bro, look at, look at the carry on Joyner. Look at the carry on Joiner. He's about to hit 100 yards rushing. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Ah! 
Ooh, it's just those long passes like across the field, those are very, very scary in this game. You're just giving the defense so much time. So much time to get over there and pick that ball off. Come on, Rat. Come on, Rat. But again, like, the carry-on joiner is averaging seven yards a carry, and we're not feeding him down here. Like, why? And that brings an end to the third quarter. 34 10. South Carolina. Put the fours up. Nice, comfortable lead going into the fourth quarter. What you hope to see, what you expect to see. What you love to see. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Come on, come on. How about a little under center? I don't think we've gone under center all game. Bring it back. Dang it. Who did that even go? Who is 80? Was that a Makiska? That's got to be Reed Makiska, I think. Oh, Elksness. Okay. That makes more sense. Nick Elksness. Ryan Mobley, I don't know. These seem to be more fun when we're losing. No one's talking much with us winning. That's a great point, Ryan. That's a great – dude, Brian, you know, you make a very, very good point. Believe it or not, it's even like that in real life. There's more chatter and banter when things aren't going well, right? I don't know. You know, it's it's unfortunate, but it's human nature. It's, it's just human nature, man. It is what it is. So. Anyways, whatever. This is fun, though. Up 27. Up 27. We will – for South Carolina. We will They're gladly really take this. The quarterback tonight. this I'd love to see another turnover. I really would. Yeah, we have been wrecking their quarterback. And it hasn't just been the work of this defense that's been impressive. Five Every sacks on the day. Love it. To the blowout. Yeah, we have been Both wrecking their quarterback. The stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he shoved out of bounds at the 29 yard line. That makes it 76. But yeah, it's, you know, there's just not as, there's not as, I, I mean, I can tell you this. Watch the post game call in shows this year, Brian, and everybody else. You know, North Carolina, I think, South, like we win. That'll be a big show either way, like win or lose. But there'll be plenty of games this year where. The most watched and interacted with and engaged with and the most callers will be after the losses, not after the wins. Second down, 10 to go. This is how it goes. It, it, it's just how it goes, man. Like, sell it, like, you can look at TDC even. Like, Celebration Mondays are awesome, but people really look forward to the Therapy Mondays. You know what I mean? People really look forward to Therapy Monday. They really do. And it's, you know, it is what it is. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Nice. Very nice. Nice job, D. Nice job. Yeah, Spider-Man, if Carolina beats Clemson, the post-game call-in show is going to be electric because I'll be smoking a cigar the entire time. I will be smoking a cigar the entire time. Best believe it. And he's taken down at the 33 yard line. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Bro, keep feeding the carry on. We're averaging seven Second yards down, a carry. And they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just keep feeding them. South Carolina up by a bunch. Nice. Go. Dude, just you get the ball in the hands of Juice Wells, folks. Good things happen. 11 catches. 11 catches for three. from every receiver, but this guy's got it.
Here's a fun question. Juice Wells has 11 catches right now in this game. Will he have a double-digit catch game this season? Do we think Juice Wells has a double-digit catch game this season in real life? That's a lot of catches in one game. Like, where is that ball going? Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies Where so is on that ball there, going? When their timing gets knocked off, Two for ten on third down. Can we get like one that. right here? Let's see. Come on. Got all day. Got all day. So. He's in trouble, and he can't get away from the pressure. That's not on the offensive line, man. That's not on the offensive line. Spencer Rattler's got to throw the ball. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Second half has been a bit slow. I'm not going to lie to you. We have, uh, we have put it in cruise control as a football team, folks. Yep, we have put it in cruise control. Pick that. Makes a grab and steps out right away. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. We have put it in straight out cruise control, man. No way. Bro, what is going on? think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Throws it out right to the running back. Tackle made around the 49-yard line. Number six on the tackle. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. They'll bring him down at about the 43 yard line. Six yards. Uh, come on, defense. Get a pick. Get a pick. Pulls in, and he's in the open field. He's pushed out of bounds at the 23. Uh. Quarterback's actually turning a decent game for throwing four interceptions. And he's going nice. to be Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It's going to be interesting to see how he responds from this hit, whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. They come out and Brian Mobley, sometimes we play as if Mark Ryan wrote the script. Jeez. Like, dude, where is the coverage? Steven, Jamie Robinson is on the Carolina Panthers roster, believe it or not. Yeah, when I, I went out to training camp like two weekends ago and, and Jamie was out there. I saw him. That was a blast from the past for sure. I mean, just wide open. I mean, I mean, he's just wide open. He's just wide open, dude. 
and it got him six. I mean, he's 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 low key like carving us up. I mean, he's low key just carving us up. He makes the PAT. No. These are the kinds of plays they'll need to start getting up that hill. Wow. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up What with is going I on? I mean, we're still up 20, but really? Yeah, bro, our, our players are focused on five points for sure. Our, guy, our guys are on the sidelines, like, texting people, like, ready, ready to go out. We got the dub. We're going out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This game, this game should have been 58 to 7, 58 to 10, and we're gonna let it end up being so so much closer than it should have been. Just a sloppy, sloppy game. It out to his receiver in a hurry. God, <laughs> Tackle at about the 27-yard line. <sighs> wow. 333 passing yards. Bro, he's having a field day. He's having a field day. Wow. This dude is having a field day against us. Look at this. Like, finally. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. I think that was Umi Azulu right there. No, Johnson? From the 16 yard Tyreek Johnson. Okay, I was like, not Brad Johnson. Tyreek Johnson. How about that? They keep it on the ground. No. He's in for the Dude! Oh my gosh! What in the world? Bro, we have checked out. I mean, we are done. We are done. That is that is must champ school of tackling. That is that is so must champ school of tackling. He splits the uprights with the extra point. All right, we got it. We got it. He's tackled at the 43. Should be good to go, as long as we don't do anything stupid. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Go, go. And he's taken down. Karen Joyner should be close to 100 yards. There it is, 102. How about that 100-yard game for DK? How about that? Love to see that. Here's the halfback. Nice run there. Look at this. Love to see this. Surprised that they're running the football, but for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The defense calls a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. Second and six. Ball on 24. Just under two yep. to go in the game. One more first down and we got this. It's over. Yep, it's done. 
Go, Dak. Let's go, baby. Let's punch it in one more time. Run the ball. Let's punch it in one more time. Above average. You missed it, man. Wild game here. You see the uni combo, though. Get in. Oh, come on. Punch this in. You know, you know, above average, I was skeptical. The look is not all that bad, though. It's not my favorite. I don't want to wear it every game, but it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Punch this ball in, dude. We're, we, we need to make this game look like somewhat of a blowout. We need to make this game like it was somewhat of a blowout, which it was a blowout for a while. It was, dude, it was above average. It was like 37 to 10, and we've just crapped the bed over the, the last couple of uh, Comes up and makes Whatever. A big stop. This Bro, is punch this. this is how you're supposed to play against the run. I don't know Start where the A&M game came from. I have no idea. Bro, let the carry on joiner get this touchdown right here. Here we go. Green 95. Get in. Oh my gosh. Really? That's a shame. Because they're not they're not gonna run this in. Look, what are we doing? We're, he's not going to kick it. He's not going to kick it. There's no way he's going to kick it. How petty is Beamer? No, he's not kicking it. <sighs> That's unfortunate. That's a, okay. We got the dub. All right. Hey, five and four. We're above 500. I think this is the first. Yeah, this is the first time all season we've been above 500. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now, how about Juice player of the game? Love to see it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, though, this is the first time all season that we have been above 500. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time. Marcellus Dial with the pick six. You see that? You see that above average? Marcellus Dial with the pick six. We are above average. And then, of course, O'Donnell Fortune tries to get a pick six and gives up a touchdown. <laughs> Rattler to Juice with the long TD. Kind of an ugly game, though, honestly. That, that, that game, I don't know, not great. Got a big dub. Look, I mean, look at this. Must champ school of tackling looking at. Jeez. Jeez. All right. Yeah, that, that game should have been way, way, way worse than it was. Way worse. In regards to, like, we should have blown them out. Oh, well. Dude, look at this. Look at this. Coastal outgained us. Outgained us. Crap. Hold on. Coastal outgained us. Like, you got to be kidding me. Six trips to the red zone, two touchdowns, and three field goals. Two touchdowns and three field goals. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wait, we got the dub. We got the dub. We're five and four. And next weekend, guys, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we've got three straight home games, Vandy, Kentucky, and Clemson. So we can punch bowl eligibility, by the way. We can punch bowl eligibility in that game on Sunday night. We can punch our ticket to a bowl game. Those passing those, those passing statistics for them are just crazy. Like those passing stats are flat out crazy.
All right, cool. Guys, appreciate you all tuning in. That was a lot of fun. Again, we are finally over 500 for the first time in this entire simulation, which I'm trying to think. I mean, dude, you know what's crazy? Like, we are exactly through nine games, record-wise, where I have us. Yes, the results are different, but I've literally got South Carolina five and four through the first nine games. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. The simulation's crazy, but <laughs> it has a way. It just has a way. So, again, guys, we'll be back on this Sunday night. We'll go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Vandy, Kentucky, Clemson, assuming, of course, we win one of those three games, which I think is a safe bet. Some point next week or that following weekend, whatever, we will find time to do a bowl game simulation as well. But, uh, yeah. Till then, guys, again, appreciate you all. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Hit the bell icon so you get notifications when we drop new video content. Hit the subscribe button on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcast. We drop the podcast daily. And stay tuned as uh, we return, guys, on Sunday night to take on the Vanderbilt Commodores. Until then, appreciate you all tuning in. We'll talk to you soon. Y'all have a great rest of your Tuesday night.